Um, you wake up in the vault, it's Reclamation Day. We have a full, you know, customize your character like we've had before. Um, it's even better now. And... Uh, let this okay. go a little bit. <laughs> you get to take your ID badge. We, we've added this uh, photo mode in the game that's really, really cool. The photo mode allows you to change your field of view, zoom in, zoom out, and you'll see all the filters that are coming up. You can do this both here when you take your badge. It's like a training tutorial for it. And then you can do it anytime you want out in the wild with your friends, with dead enemies, with live enemies. Um, we have also added this to our load screen system. There's not a lot of loads in our game, but when you fast travel, there's a little one. And so any of the pictures you've taken there will pop up like a random deck with, along with our curated photos. Um, we, we really, this is came out of a game jam. We do these game jams in the middle of projects to see what new features we want to try to add in. And this was one of our favorite ones. Yeah, it turned out, it turned out really, really great. Um, and, and fun for socially shareable stuff too, even exactly. offline. You, you share could, it, you you kinda... with your friends. Um, and so, you know, again, you make your characters a whole host of it. You can take pictures where you want. You can also, anytime in the game, change how your character looks. So you get your, if you hit level two when you step out, you kind of complete the initial vault thing. And the first thing you do when you level up is pick a special that you want to increase. Um, if you played previous Fallouts, we have all the seven specials. And after you pick the one you want to increase, you then pick a perk in that special. So here we're choosing Gladiator, uh, which is a melee perk. And then that is a card. As you can see, the, the perk system, are, the perks are cards. And then you equip those, and every special is a pool of points for the cards you want to equip. And each card has, you know, I don't want to say mana cost, but a point cost right. for how powerful that card is. And do you have the right special for equipping it? OK, this is a level up to level four. So we've, we picked some more cards. But we wanted to show you how the cards themselves rank up. Okay. So you can pick that card again. So by picking Gladiator again, you can then combine that card with the other one to create a more powerful version, but it costs more points. Right. So sometimes you may decide, well, I only want the one-point version equipped for my character build versus the more powerful two-point version because I'm using my strength stats in some other way. Um, and yeah, so I think that probably makes sense, yes, <laughs> um, I hope. Uh, but there's more than four levels. Um, so here we are, and you'll see a character that's much further along, picking Charisma. We can talk about Charisma's interesting. Yeah. Um, here's a perk that lets mutations act better with groups. Um, and so you can pick any perk that you meet the requirements for when you level up. There's no randomness there. And here's what it looks like with a character that's further along. We've upped the cap for each special to 15 mm -hmm. from 10. That allows a, you know, better balance for which cards you're equipping. And the cards right now go from one point up to five points in power. And then as you level up, more cards become available. I've got a bunch of questions about okay, that. But I will on there and nope, ch nope. chat a little bit. Keep going. Okay. But uh, I wanted to ask about charisma. Should I ask that later? Um, we do have gold. That one's great. Um, we have gold cards that animate. Of course, you get a joke and a stick of gum. Nice. And um, <laughs> the gum, actually, for fun, is a very slight. It reduces your hunger for a while if you chew the gum. Nice. Uh, That's right. Courtesy of your Uncle Sam, these wonders of the atomic age can be found right in your own backyard. But how does a fella like you acquire nuclear weapons, you may ask? Begin by inquiring with the locals. Gently coax them into cooperation. Use a little elbow grease if you have to. In the likely event you don't acquire a full code on your own, do not give up. Search for others who might be harboring a grudge. You'll have that nuclear launch code in no time. With the power of the atom at your fingertips, be responsible and consider your target carefully. Attention. 
launch sequence activated. Will your bomb land on a rival camp of degenerates? A random stranger? The local wildlife? Whatever your target may be, take advantage of the resulting fallout to gather rare and valuable resources. Yet these rewards don't come without risk. The fate of this new world is yours to command with the power of the atom. The construction and assembly mobile platform. Construct your home of the future. With your home secure, you can now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure to give your altercations that personal touch. It falls on you and the ingenuity of your fellows to rebuild the America we hold dear. But don't become too attached too quickly. Monitor your environment for anything out of the ordinary. The home of tomorrow may undergo certain challenges. After a crisis, work with your neighbors to ensure success. There's no I in nuclear wasteland. Document your adventures. Your memories will shape the new American dream. What's that sound? Oh dear. There goes the neighborhood. Some of your fellow survivors may not be neighborly. Chin up there, sport. Not all Vault 76 dwellers will be so hostile. Find them and brave the new world together. Whether you choose to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your days will be filled with fun activities. who may have overindulged and overslept, but it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. Oh, finally! I feared you'd never wake up. Don't you remember? Time to leave the vault! Most of the others have already gone. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. 
You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. Goodbye! Aloha! Ciao! Arrivederci! Au revoir! start with the world and this time it features all new rendering lighting and landscape technology it allows us to have 16 times the detail and even view distant weather systems across the map now most people don't know West Virginia that well it is an incredible array of natural wonders towns and government secrets this is where the actual nuclear secrets are and the quest the overseer sends you on will take you through six distinct regions, each with their own style, risks, and rewards. There's plenty of cool new fallout creatures, and we even use the folklore of West Virginia to bring our fallout versions to life. years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. is stopped and the fallout has settled you must rebuild not just walls not just buildings but hearts and minds and ultimately America itself in vault 76 our future begins